Hello, everyone. My name is Nicholas Uporov. I'm a senior dance major at Dreyfus, and I'm here to tell you my story in the best way I know how. You see, my journey in these past four years has borne a natural resemblance to a traveling vine. Imagine winding ivy trailing up the side of a brick building. I followed the path of the sunlight upward, a compass pointing unwaveringly towards the future. Though I knew I must pursue this growth, I was completely unsure as to which particular path to follow. I found myself, when thinking about the future, my future, conflicted. On one side, my penchant for rationality led me towards a career in the sciences, bolstered by my ability in AP calculus and physics. On the other, my heart pointed unwaveringly towards the arts, an ever-present formative part of my life. And yet, the world around me seemed to say that the full pursuit of both the arts and sciences was unattainable, impractical, a life sentence of impoverished struggle. So, upon reaching the end of junior year, with the looming shadow of college applications approaching, I knew I would have to finally decide between the two, a study of physics or a career in the arts. So, I made a plan. I would use the summer to decide, spending half of the time at a dance school and the rest of the summer academic program. In the end, I would decide a clear winner. With the support of the Dreyfus faculty and the gracious help of the Foundation's Ray of Light Scholarship, I was able to spend my summer between the bustling studios of the Boston Ballet and the historic classrooms of Yale University. At Yale, I was introduced to radical ideas. I attended a lecture from the professor Emily Coates, a former New York City ballet dancer, whose most recent work involved a cross-disciplinary study of physics and its interactions with dance. She pushed boundaries in both areas, completely redefining what I even thought was possible. From there, I was hooked, devouring all of the resources that the program had to offer. Traveling between the Boston Ballet and Yale University, I was able to mentally bridge the gap between my artistic and academic aspirations, uniting theory with practice, passion with practicality. I saw firsthand that art is fueled foremost by collaboration, when I had entered the summer, I had expected to grant a solemn victory to only one competitor, physics or ballet, but life had other plans, and as a result, the summer was nothing short of magical. I came to understand that though these winding paths might appear to a point in divergent directions, with the right intention, they can synchronize. And Dreyfus was the perfect place to explore the synchronicity. I could bounce between the welcoming doors of the dance studio and the physics class upstairs bridging lessons on angular momentum and the technique of alsacone pirouettes. The spirit of cross-disciplinary cultivation is a staple of learning at Dreyfus, and a tradition I am personally proud to inherit. Now, as I transition to assume a collegiate mindset and search for a career in the bustling cultural epicenter of New York City, I look back at the summer that shaped me with gratitude, knowing that it would not have been possible without the generous support of my school. Dreyfus and the School of the Arts Foundation provided me not only with the freedom to choose my path, but the freedom to not only be limited to one option. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you.